A quarter of a million pounds. 22 identical sealed boxes. And no questions. Except one. Deal or no deal? there somewhere and today could be the day that one of our players really does have a life-changing moment 22 identical sealed boxes indeed 22 different sums of money we've proved it's possible to win just one P and we proved it's possible to win hundred and twenty thousand pounds but so far no one has actually taken the quarter of a million we're overdue for that moment it could be today I hope it's today Let's play deal or no deal. We need a player. So, hello to Michael. <laughs> Michael, would you please care to join me? Thank you very much. Thank you. I've even managed to raise a smile. Well done. Well done. Make uh, yourself comfortable. By the way, I may wander around a bit, if that's OK. I think better on my feet. Absolutely. You can, uh, you can do whatever you want, actually. OK. And you've brought a picture with you. More than one, if we've got time for it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, basically, the, uh, the bedrock of my life is my family. The reason it's my bedrock is that uh, I've had the greatest good fortune in marrying an amazing wife, uh, the best wife I think that any man could wish for. She's loving and caring, very stylish, a great mother, a skilled cook, qualified gardener. Uh, she's into Pilates and daily swimming. Uh, and she and I have had two talented, loving sons. Uh, and I've got uh, also a terrific daughter-in-law. And I have our first granddaughter, Lucia. And here is Lucia. Beautiful. beautiful. With my son oh, and beautiful. my... There you go. Turn around there. That is the absolutely lovely picture. Thank you very much. And I hope they bring you a great deal of good luck this okay. afternoon. And then a little more information. Michael Daly lives in the Cotswolds. Uh, used to run two advertising companies. Married to Judith, who you've mentioned. He says he's been very lucky. He's actually had three... Brushes with serious no. death or injury. That's only a, a pricey of information. Seven brushes. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> We're very lucky to have you here today. <laughs> I, I'm very lucky to have survived. You're quite right. Yes, I, I feel I'm being... I, perhaps if I was like the people who believe in mysticism and fate and all that, maybe I was being held back for this very day. Who knows? Michael, right. you have brought already a very different flavour mm -hmm. to so many games. And I think the relationship between you and the banker is going to be one of the most fascinating that I've had a chance to observe. So, as you know, we start with something very simple. Mm -hmm. And that is your confirmation that this box was chosen by you at random before the show. It was. It was sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all of the boxes, and the other 21 players also chose their boxes at random. Nobody knows where the money is. Most significantly, the banker does not know where the money lies. What we are going to do is open the boxes in the order that you select, and we will begin to uncover where the money lies. That will give the banker an idea as to how much money he is going to have to pay you in order to get that magic four-letter word from your lips. OK. And Excellent. I say, good luck to the banker. <laughs> I think he's got a very worthy foe. Michael, the game is yours. OK. We're going first to Liz. No gameplay, just the way you're feeling this afternoon. 
you will, being as observant as you are, you will see how things develop. Thank you. Mmm, intriguing. It is intriguing. Oh, yes. <laughs> Liz, would you please start Michael's game by opening box number seven? With a low one, I hope. The quarter of a million. <laughs> <laughs> Yet again, the quarter of a million is the first box we open. It is the second time this has happened this week. It is not always regarded as a disaster, and some people regard it as a blessed relief. <laughs> I'll reserve my opinion on that. Next one, please, Michael. Vanessa, you are the one. You are the one with the number one. Need you to keep it very low, please. Fifty pounds. <laughs> That's better. I don't know why, but for a horrible moment, I thought it was going to be the hundred thousand as well. I thought, of all the people, we do not want you picking off all the big numbers in round one. Certainly not. No. I want to see how this gameplay of yours swings between the two elements. Mm -hmm. Third box, please, Michael. I'd like to welcome the charming Aileen. Aileen. Number 20. OK. Welcome to the game. Thank you, Noel. Would you please keep it blue, keep it low, and open box number 20. Hundred pounds. <laughs> So, apart from the fact that you took out the quarter of a million, you have blown a very nice large hole mm -hmm. on the left-hand side. Probably a good idea to make it even larger. Your next selection, please. Jules. I'm with you all the way, all right? OK. Good luck. Let it rip. Julie. <laughs> Feel free to let it rip. <laughs> 15,000. That's OK. I really can't see this system, but anyway, where are you going now? Marie. Very nice lady. Thank you. Marie, will you please open box 21 and bear in mind, after this one, we get our first phone call. And if we lose another big number, he's going to be gloating yet again. Yeah. Please open box 21. I wish you so much luck. Thank you. 50 p. <laughs> Perfect. OK. I don't think there's any point in fibbing about this. You did show real signs of disappointment when the quarter of a million went, particularly when it went right at the very beginning of the round. We can do away with the other red. That's not a problem. You've taken out three blues. That feels pretty good to me. Good start. How do you feel about it? I feel very content. Content? Yes. That's very good. I like that. It's right up there with comfortable. <laughs> How's he going to read all this? Ooh, that was quick. Mmm. Oh, quick well, reader, obviously. I'll take the call. Hello? Well, well, well. Good afternoon. Please don't dispense with the uh, pleasantries. I'm very well, thank you. And, and poised to have a fab afternoon and really, really enjoy this little battle. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, that was quite complex and lengthy. He acknowledges. The fact that clearly you have family values and your family is your bedrock. Mm -hmm. He is offering £2,300 at this stage. What do you want to do? Do you want to have a chat about it? Do you want to discuss it with people? I think, as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing to discuss. I don't think we need to prolong this. Michael, £2,300. Deal or no deal? No deal.
35,000, the three big ones are still there. The game is in its infancy. It is not a disaster to have lost the quarter of a million. It would be very bad news for Michael if in the next three boxes we pick off big numbers. So, where are we going then? I think uh, we should go to Mumtaz. Mumtaz, would you please open box number 12? Five pounds. <laughs> After the initial shock and disappointment of losing the quarter of a million, now everything is going your way. That was really, really good news. Ready? Yes, please. Arlette. Sir. Could we have box 16, Arlette? Mm -hmm. Would you please try and find something, ten thousand pounds or less? Bon chance. Hundred thousand. Oh. Oh. The hundred thousand is gone. Round one, the quarter of a million. Round two, the hundred thousand. Seventy-five thousand is the biggest sum out there, backed up, admittedly. By 50,000 to 35,000. There's some sturdy soldiers there, isn't there? Yep, yep. absolutely. Okay. Your foundations are pretty solid. But okay. don't do one of them now. Do not do one of the big numbers now. Well, Jill and I will try together not to do that, won't we, Jill? Yes. OK. Jill. Bestow upon this box your beautiful smile. Jill, keep that smile going <laughs> throughout the commercial break. <laughs> Welcome back to D-Log. No deal, Michael's game with a... Well, an interesting system. It all started with Dave, you see, who came here, sat down, and then just counted his way along the boxes. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five... He missed out nine, just as well because it had the quarter of a million, would have destroyed his game. And then we had Gavin, and he did even numbers, up and odds down. And now Michael's introduced the gender game. <laughs> and we've arrived at Jill. And in all seriousness, this must not be one of the big numbers, Jill. Otherwise, Michael's game starts to disintegrate. Would you please open box number eight, we would love to see one of the low numbers. There's plenty of them. Here's hoping this is low. Good luck, Michael. 75,000. You took out the quarter of a million at the top of the first round. In the second round, you've taken the 100,000 and the 75,000. How do you feel? Well, I think at this rate, after four rounds, I'll be broke, basically, won't I? <laughs> but let's await the call. It wasn't a huge opening offer. This won't be uh, much more than half, I wouldn't think. 2,300 was the offer which yeah. didn't attract you at all, didn't involve any cranial activity <laughs> whatsoever. Totally quiet in there, it was. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Tumbleweed between the ears. <sighs> He's having another good week. That's what I hear. He is, like. isn't he? He's yeah. having another good week. Mm. Hello. Hello. I, I thought you'd be enjoying this game. Listen, and Michael knows you're enjoying this game. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to ask him? Have women always treated you this badly? <laughs> <laughs> Never, ever. <laughs> no, this is a first. Hmm. OK. OK, thank you. He says it's a fair offer. Um, we're in... 
We're in d difficult territory because of those big numbers. Yeah. He's, he's offering you £1,900. OK. Same applies to the four. No cranial work at all? No, no cogs whirring? Nope. No advice required? Nope. Happy with the loneliness of the decision? Absolutely. We might as well crack on. £1,900, deal or no deal? No deal. What's coming, Linda, don't you? I do. Are you missing out, Anne? Oh, sorry, Anne, I do <laughs> apologise. You've become so familiar to me. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. We've only met for a few days, but we feel as though we know each other rather well, don't we? We do, Anne? actually, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we do. So well that he couldn't even see you there. <laughs> this worries me. I was sleeping ahead a bit, I have to admit. There yeah. could be a rather nasty <laughs> situation developing here. No, it will, it will make no difference to my choice of boxes at all. Sure. No, yeah, we go sure. for Anne now, yeah. OK. I mean, we could go to Linda if you felt nope, superstitious nope, about and then come nope. back to Anne. Not at all. Go for Anne. The girls have been rather bad news for him. So, Anne, would you please reverse that situation, change his fortunes by finding one of the low numbers in box number six. Thank you. £500. <laughs> And now we're at Linda. Yep, we've arrived at Linda's at last. The penultimate lady. Would you reveal the contents of the container? Good luck, Michael. Thank you. Five thousand pounds. That's all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jessica. Fairly new. Still fresh to the game. Track record not too good, though. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> this one's low, I know. <laughs> Terrible. Well, absolutely. Did I hear something? This one's low. It's good it's or low, bad? Low. I think it's good. I OK. Think it's I hope, Jessica, that you are in tune today, because we do not want to take out the 50,000 or the 35,000 at this stage. OK. Fingers Would you crossed. please open the box? Three thousand. Well, okay. Red, but it's a low red. This could still be a strong game. Could be. Has the makings. I really enjoyed uh, the way you started this show, talking about your family. Mm hmm The other thing that I thought was interesting is your ambition that you would like to go to the Antarctic. I would. Why? Last great wilderness, unspoilt. Not many people have been there, although the numbers are obviously increasing. Uh, the place of uh, the exploits of two of my heroes, Scott and Shackleton. Shackleton, I agree. My number one, Shackleton. Absolutely. What a man, what a leader. What never, strength of mind. Never quite achieved the goal, but brilliant in recovery. Absolutely, yeah. At which point do we get the brandy and cigars out? <laughs> I don't know. We're waiting to hear from him, aren't we? He's probably puffing away as we speak. We should do that sometime. Yeah. We should have an evening and have a chat about Shackleton. OK, let's do that. Hello. Mm-hmm. Quality opponent. Thank you. Nothing has changed, despite the absence of the big numbers. Nothing has changed in terms of his regard for you. And we're starting to move into interesting, challenging territory mm -hmm. with the offers for the box. Yep. 
we now know doesn't have a quarter of a million in it or a hundred thousand in it. And Michael, he is now offering you eight thousand nine hundred pounds. What a tempter. Eight thousand nine hundred. I have no idea what a trip to Antarctica costs. I went. Hmm? Oh, you've been there? I've been. Yeah? Unfortunately, my former employer paid. <laughs> and I right. can tell you, I hope, ignoring your other ambition, which we'll talk about in a moment, I hope you get sufficient money to make that trip because there is no other place on Earth like Antarctica. Right. Well, that's uh, some of money is, would, uh, if I could persuade my wife to join me, which I might not be able to. She doesn't like the cold very much. Uh, that, would, that would pay for both of us and certainly uh, allow me to go in great style. Michael, £8,900. Deal or no deal? No deal. Michael, mm -hmm. you have declined £8,900. We continue. Three yep. boxes, and we know what we don't want to see. Jerry? You're in the seat. So, having been let down by the ladies, we now need the gentleman to turn your game around and make sure you go away. A huge amount of money. Absolutely. Jerry, very simple. Away you go. Thank you. Good luck, Michael. Two hundred and fifty pounds. <laughs> so far, so good. The gentlemen are doing what the ladies failed to do. I assume, John. Correct. John, would you please do it for the guys? Well, I hope I can continue the run, Michael. Twenty thousand. That's all right. It's OK. Yeah, it's OK. Always gets the same reaction, but it's OK if there are two above. Alan? Alan. This has been working quite well. We do not want you to break the sequence. Nor do I. Can't be the fly in the ointment. No. Do not break the sequence. We're having a break. We're having a break. <laughs> we are now working our way through the gentleman, and Michael is playing a dangerous game in that it's down to just two of the big sums of money. Alan, we have to find a low number in box 14. Please open it now. Best of luck, Michael. One pound. <laughs> One pound. Still four blues to bet. And I wonder how much stronger the banker feels your position is. Do you have a feel for it, Michael? Uh, his track record is not good in this area. Correct. Except when he doesn't know how to play the player. He's pondering, I see. <clears throat> he is pondering. Or just keeping us waiting. No. No, he's in pondering territory. OK. Interesting, Interesting situation. He, too, is an admirer of great leaders and determined individuals. He's made that clear. It could be to your benefit. Hello. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He wants you to consider uh, bearing in mind his description, not mine, you are the father figure of the group, uh, how 
you leaving with a low sum of money would impact upon morale going forward. I don't know whether that is a consideration. I'm sure that's true. Um, I think this is regrettable. He's increasing his offer to £9,900. Mm -hmm. OK. Shall we dwell on that for a bit? Well, it's probably the appropriate moment to mention something else which I find very attractive about the way you've presented yourself and your situation. 26th of February, it's not far away now. No. Is your 40th wedding anniversary. It certainly is. And you've already spoken in very glowing terms about your wife, mm -hmm. Judith, and you would like to hold a very special family occasion. Yes, uh, certainly for my immediate family, you know, there's Judith, my two sons, my daughter-in-law, and by then, two grandchildren but also to include my extended family as well, if possible, if affordable. But the reason I said earlier that it was very flexible, I mean, the point is that I may win enough to go down to the pub with them, or I may, no, not now, uh, originally I thought, well, I might win enough to take a few days on Branson's and Necker Island. I think that's out of the question now. But what I'm saying is that, uh, bearing in mind, whether I go to the Antarctic or not, uh, I would obviously like to do the very best to make it a wonderful, memorable celebration with the actual available money. That's my ambition, yeah. Just shy of £10,000. Mm -hmm. You might be able to do both things. Oh, I could, undoubtedly. Yes, I could. Good. Michael, £9,900. Real money, deal or no deal? Deal. Very <laughs> Shackleton only took the risks that were necessary. Michael, you've given us a very, very different game. And I, for one, am enormously grateful to you. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much indeed. OK. Thank you for sharing so much of you and your family with us. Mm -hmm. Because I think it puts £9,900 in a perfect context. Right. And now, however, it's back play to on. what the game is all about. And we need you to play on as if you didn't say deal. And there can be no doubt here as to whether uh, or not I would be pursuing the same box sequence. Yep. So we now need the gentleman to go for the big numbers and validate the decision you have just made. Robbie, you're a big man. <laughs> Give me a big number. Yep, we want to see 50,000 or 35,000. We would start to be in just Paradise Territory. 35,000! You now would have been in trouble. You now would have been on the edge of an all-or-nothing game. Teetering, teetering on the edge. Teetering. You would have been on the knife edge Absolutely. of those dreams and ambitions being beyond your grasp. Vaughan. He's the man. Would you open box number two? We want to see 50,000. 750. Okay. All right. We need to see the 50,000 now, Miguel. Otherwise, the next offer would have increased and would have increased Michael's opportunities of having even bigger dreams fulfilled. We now want you to reveal 50,000. 10,000. It would have been, at this stage, an all-or-nothing game. Mm -hmm. And this is the offer you would have received from the banker at this point. Thank you. 
There may be some comfort in this. £12,000. OK, £12,000. I personally would take heart from that because yeah. you're almost at 10,000 with Absol what you've received. Absolutely. So it wouldn't have been a huge amount no. more money. I think uh, the banker has again been very fair. OK. And if we play on from this point. OK, well... Um... You did deal one deal too soon. But now... We really do not want to get to the point where we find that actually <laughs> you threw away over forty thousand right. pounds. Mm -hmm. Geordie, we want to see the fifty k right now. Yes. Yes. Very, very good. And the next one. Open. Box 22, Jim. The thousand would have gone. It gets better and better. The Michael story has unfolded with a wonderfully positive final chapter. We're going to have the fairy tale ending. Andrew, would you please open box number five? The one P was there. And so. Throughout this game, <laughs> you've either had <laughs> ten pence or, ten, or pounds. ten pounds. You've never had the sort of fortune that it would have been worth gambling for. Right. <laughs> At this point, the banker would have offered four quid. <laughs> four pounds at this point. And at this point, would you have played on or would you have <laughs> cut and I run? I would have said... Noel, please open my box for me. £9,900 is safe and secure. Yep. Either you've had £10 or 10 pence in here throughout mm -hmm. the game. Whichever way you look at it, you've done a demon deal in selling a box. And it had <laughs> 10 pence. It had the 10 pence. You sold a 10 pence box for £9,900. And I'm very happy about that. And the man who had two advertising businesses did an extraordinarily good commercial deal there. Thank you very much. Indeed. Very good. Yep. It's been a great game. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. But more than it. that, it's been a real pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you for being a great player in okay. our series and contributing so much to it. Yeah. Persuade Judith to go. Mm hmm She'll have a great time. OK. Thank you very much. Spend the money wisely. Michael, £9,900. It was a great deal. Thank you. Great deal. And let's have a look and see what Terry had in that box for. We know it was the mighty sum of £10. Michael? Thanks again. And thank you very much. So, what a charming, charming gentleman who, thanks to this show, is going to realise two of his ambitions to go to Antarctica and to have a fantastic 40th anniversary. I think that's what this show is all about, meeting your own ambitions and dealing at the right time for you. What will happen tomorrow? Will someone throw caution to the wind and go for the big money? You never know. And you'll never know if you're not with us. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.